are starting, guys. Here we go. I am so excited for this. Legendary Snails versus Titus Gaming Round 1 Premier Divisions NSL Season 3 Finals matchup. And here we go. Starting here on Tram, Titus Gaming has aliens starting in warehouse down here in shipping. We got Legendary Snails as Marines. And with aliens here spawning up inside warehouse, going with a kind of split all around the map. Gathering up in the hub while the snails are opening with the 2 to 1 split. With the difference that actually Heracles and Eagle Eye skipping observation and kind of going straight to hub. Fighty Arline and Joshi there in hub. Sicknick around the corner. Heracles and Eagle Eye just stuck in south tunnels. We got a gorge tunnel going up by Golden in mezzanine. Heracles moving forward a bit. Might get pounced on. Wow. What was that? Eagle Eye in the back taking out Sicknick and getting pounced right now. Nice job. Oh, but those idiots oh. that do. Wow, they got pinched. <laughs> by the yeah, absolutely. King, position yo. was kind of bad inside <laughs> south tunnels with the capers from logistics. So I like the idea by the snails going there. But they lost two marines, so the pressure's a little bit delayed. But we see Kingyo and Dams now making their way up. But should be just enough time for the respawners to get there. Dams and Kingyo moving in. We got Bitey engaging Dams and Kingyo. With one, with our line, our line gets pistoled down. Ooh, they, they didn't actually go as a group here by Titus. They went a little bit one by one, making it kind of easy for those two Marines to stay alive, buying a lot more time for the cabers. You have two from repair, splitting up to ore and to hub. And I like that move by um, Legendary Snails. Basically, just don't go for high pressure, just stay alive. Mm -hmm. And if you look mezzanine, there's a beautiful gorge tunnel here. Yeah, that gorge tunnel is going to give a great access, you know, to server room, quick access straight into um, ET. Uh, we got a drifter and three skulks moving into observation. Mine's going off like crazy. Oh, and at the same time, we have three marines oh in the hive in their house. This might oh, be but the base game. is safe. This is going to be really painful for the aliens. Nice job by Versus the Commander actually jumping out of the hive, taking down Kingyo with just two left. Oh no, and Golden goes down as well. Eagle Eye and Dam still holding down Warehouse. Oh, and by this kind of caught off by Rain uh, in Hub. Here comes the spawn wave. Our line is sick, Nick. Taking Dams down. Eagle Eye, the only one left. Oh, well, it was pretty important kills here. Cleaning one more Rain after another. Only one left. Eagle Eye, there's not much he can do. He's trying to fall back, but he gets cleared out here by Golden. Nice job by the end, it's saving that up. But in the same time, look at Mazzoni, we have Ray here, sneaky. The Gorge Tunnel is not connected. Oh no, never mind, it is still is, they didn't kill it. Yeah, it's still up, and he's here against Bitey. Oh, oh my wow. god! Golden and Bitey go down to pistol shots. Great job, Ray. Wow. Uh, they need to take some distance. They should like go in the server room in the big open space. Much easier to defend if they all like pop out the Gorge Tunnel. They need a... Really good positioning here, but we see actually three Marines, King Yo, Heracles, and Rain Silver Room that leaves the base really open for a counter base rush. This is a great move. Heracles, Ray, and King Yo all in server room to just deny that side of the map. Uh, they're moving now into mezzanine, which is undefended. It looks like Titus is moving slowly down into shipping. Yeah, they wanted to go for the base rush, but really nice positioning zoning by Eagle Eye. And also by Dams, like locking half the way offs, but still we have two lurks in here. And the skull. Yep. With Drifter support. Oh! <laughs> Eagle Eye and Heracles take out Golden and Arline with mines. That just leaves Bitey and Sicknick with the double lurk play. And the Gorge Tunnel went down in mezzanine. Oh, wow. Wow. Crazy base race scenario. We also saw a ghost CC drop in server room just for safety by Rise in case those lurks would clean up the base so they wouldn't like insta lose, they could rebuild inside server room, which you don't need to. We got now Golden taking down Eagle Eye here in the hub, backed up by Sicknick. We still got Heracles here, low health, moving out of mezzanine, taking down Golden who was trying to sneak around the corner. And he's just gonna continue putting a lot of pressure here in mezzanine. 
Your Bidey the Lurk almost died there and all processing was kinda close, but still up here. Look at the nice zoning. We have 4 plus 1 extractors right now for legendary snails, which is a good amount. Um, keeping that up while they keep up the pressure at the same time. Um, so Titus Gaming only has two active harvesters for the moment. You see a lot of teams like pumping out early for more harvesters early with um, their spawning hive. RT going down there in repair room. We're seeing the Sicknick and Bitey are trying to utilize the mobility of that double lurk play, trying to get a little bit of command presence there. I like the little ghost um, <laughs> CC there in server room. He's got to force a drifter there to take that out so they can expand. Uh, I think they would love to like get the resources back. They don't need it anymore, and it's like 15 dead T-Res. Um, mm. Rice cannot use it at the moment, but if he recycles himself, he loses like five. So he hopes an alien will step over that. Clean up here in ET on the bottom. RT recycled there. Snails on the other side, rebuilding up repair room as this moves into observation against Eagle Eye. Oh my god, who takes down our line in that fight? <laughs> Heracles a little late as these guys move into observation. Dame's coming around the corner. Oh, some crazy pistol shots here by him. We have two more rains now inside all processing, actually building the extractor. So close to the main hive. Um, just because they can do, all the dorks are busy in elevator, so they will have a little bit more free time to do that. And then put up the pressure into the house. You know, the aggression from both these teams is, you can just see right on the field. I mean, Snail's being obviously super aggressive right now. Golden taking down Ray from the back here in or processing, getting, getting pistoled down by King Yo. And they keep, pre I love how they keep constant pressure on Mezzanine and even like Warehouse, you know, like there's just a constant flow of Marines going left and right and Titus just keeps having to respond. They're doing a good job though, I mean, if, if you look at, um, you know, their their defense, they're doing a good job, but oh, I don't oh, think the they Lurk can offense Sicknick. much. Oh, Sigma goes down! I'm sorry to oh, interrupt, you know, no, Eagle yeah. was perfect positioning. He saw it on the minimap that the Lurk was pretty low on Mezzanine, nice team call here, Eagle Eye moving up to the stairs and taking down the Lurk on the retreat. It was a beautiful move by the French. That was, a, that was pretty bad for Titus to have right now, just seven minutes into the game, losing a Lurk. Eagle Eye and Heracles now in server room. Uh, and down here in the hub, we got uh, Bitey and Joshy trying to defend from Dames and Ray. So we still see the Ghost and CC up here while Eagle Eye Heracles is working on platform. Next Harvester to kill. They already killed two Harvester in that game, which is a pretty good amount. RT being lost there in uh, in repair room. Sys chain cut now. We got Heracles and Eagle Eye here in platform. They're being swarmed by all of Titus. Heracles takes down Golden. Eagle Eye ends up going down. And Heracles ends up living and continues on that harvester. My god, Titus cannot push the snails off. Wow, that's awesome double prone attacks all over the time. They never attack a single spot at one time. They just try to attack two points like instantly together. And that's what I love. That makes it pretty hard and tough for the aliens to decide where to go, where to defend, and kind of splitting them up, making it a lot of easier for the Marines to kill them off. Yeah. See Bidey swooping in, trying to get a kill on Heracles. Doesn't do it, moves off. Heracles taking down Joshi. Ray shoots Heracles in the back. <laughs> <laughs> and gets taken out by Bitey, just to let you know, in the league, there is 33% friendly fire damage. Uh, so yes, you can kill your own teammate. Uh, yeah, you can watch either... your bullets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch your bullets and watch your teeth. <laughs> Bitey here in the hub, trying to shoot spikes down to Eagle Eye and King Yo as they come up through uh, Mezzanine from ET and they keep that pressure going. Shotguns have been researched for the snails, weapons one, armor one. And look at this pressure now. Two going mezzanine, two in hub. Yeah, they're kind of waiting on mezzanine bef until the next two guys hitting another harvester, which is gonna be Heracles and Rain all processing as soon as they force some alien defense there. That's the time when they can move into mezzanine. Right now, they're kind of camping there, and they have Bates now in the field. King you with the shotgun. Nice job taking on Joshi, and we have Arline falling back as well as Bidey. They can't take it. Our line has to fall back from that. Definitely has to be careful with Eagle, especially with a shotgun in Eagle Eye's hands. Um, and here, King Yo. Cat packs now have started um, from Legendary Snails. 
Eagle Eye now trying to hold on against this. Eagle Eye killing King Yo! <laughs> oh, that that's matchup. almost taken down by the but pretty interesting on going on cat packs. Usually I would suspect Rai is going for one one shotguns into a phase tech, mm -hmm. but going cat packs just indicates how aggressive he wants to play this. Really not like spending any time on defending uh, phase oh. gates, instead just going constant aggression. Look at that, we still have those two Marines for more. Killing down Shades inside Warehouse. Two Shades already down. And they are moving out. They yeah, already I mean, killed. Yeah, yeah, Shades. I was like, they killed. <laughs> shells. Uh, they killed two shells in that engagement, so those are 40 team resources. Uh, those are 40 total, uh, which is pretty expensive considering Titus Gaming is fighting some, uh, some resource. Uh, uh, trying to get resources on this game. I mean, they've only collected 258 versus 356 from the snails. Six harvesters lost from the snails versus, uh, I'm sorry, extractors lost for the snails versus four harvesters for Titus Gaming. Team kills 38 to 27. So snails definitely leading here in the engagements. Oh, our line may get oh, caught he's here. Pitched. Oh, he's going to get caught. <laughs> oh, my God. 6%. He almost got caught by Eagle Eye and Dams, and then King Yo came from the hub. I honestly thought he was done. That was so lucky. <laughs> wow, that's just showcasing how good those guys are on watching the minimap, like the positioning, the movement of the alien life bombs, trying to trap him down. Has it worked with the Lurk Signic? But someone unluckily missed his shot, so Alan could get out there pretty much barely. Wow, and here now in the hub. Look at this fight! Eagle Eye now left, two Marines, two aliens down. Eagle Eye, the only one left. Um, I believe, yes, he has a shotgun moving off. And if you look on the RTs killed, like as you said, six extractors lost for the Marines at 11 minute mark. If you go on a good respiting indicator, it's like one RT per minute is really good. And it's just basically half of that amount. That just shows how much pressure they really apply here to the aliens. So they can't really spend the time on going on biting resources towers themselves. They're just busy defending left and right all over this game. Nice push here from Titus Gaming into ore processing. 40% on that RT. That's going to end up going down. Meanwhile, King Yo and Dames and Eagle Eye all here in Mezzanine. Trying to put a lot of pressure and take this. It, interesting enough, um, I did see those cat packs uh, being dropped, and I was first person there. It really does help with, uh, you know, juking those uh, those aliens. Heracles and Ray now moving into repair room. Oh, can't save the extractor, but Ray's still alive with the pistol. Both skunks pretty oh! low. Can you do it? Run, Ray! Oh. <laughs> Uh, Josh ends up taking him down, but still this three marine pressure here in Mezzanine causing Titus a massive headache. Arline figuring out what to do here. We see Joshi at 53p res. Um, he's gonna go, he's definitely the Ono saver. Yeah, and I mean, looking at Mezzanine, they're still kind of busy. Three marines with shotguns there. And this is this kind of fort they set up with the crack, with the whips, everything. It's just buying so much time. It's really helping the aliens. Um, but great margin. I mean, imagine without that, the Marines would already be in platform taking that down. Instead of just still busy in mezzanine, can't push forward. Look at this. I love how Snails is just staying together here. Eagle Eye taking Josh out with a nice Bitey. clutch shot. Look at Bitey. He's trying to heal, trying to get out. Can he? Oh no! <laughs> Bitey out! Killed in the vent, and just so you know, this is the vent that he died in. Oh man, nice shot! Oh, I kinda got trapped there inside Mesa. A little bit too aggressive. You have to watch out against three shotgunners, especially <laughs> from players like Snails. I know! <laughs> Don't get too close. We see here in South Tunnels, three of them, uh, two Skulks, three Skulks, and a Fade. They the may go rush, for yes. a base rush. And there's no Ops. They can't be killed. There's no Ops! Oh my goodness! Actually have to run back, but our line is really low as well as Golden and two more range of shotguns should be able to clear that now. They take down the I, one of the IPs and they clean out the rest. So an IP loss there, so a little momentum loss, um, you know, for the snails, but not too bad. They're still, you know, they still have a ton of money. They got six extractors. Yeah, and also I've. I want to say this looks pretty good for the snails and the kind of aggression. I mean, Joshi is now popping as an Arnold's egg, and there's no face gate, no jetpacks, just weapon one, not mm -hmm. even weapon two. That means that Arnold's can be super effective right now. 
Onos now out on the field. That's going to be Joshi as he moves out of Warehouse. And let's just see how they utilize him. Is he going to be a Flash Onos? <laughs> let's hope not. Let's hope because, not. Yeah, that's basically everything Titus has left. I mean, it's the life forms, it's the Fade R-Line and Joshi. They couldn't drop a second hive in silver the whole time, kind of busy on redropping everything. But they really need to crush Marines here big time. Yeah, and, and this is their time to kind of start taking down RTs using this, uh, you know, using this Onos, pushing the snails back into their side because they, they really don't have good defense against the Onos. You know, they, they have weapons one, armor one, shotguns. I mean, they could tag the Onos if they trap them, uh, but for the most part, they, they, they don't have weapons two, they don't have jets. They're pretty far away from that. They still got to get an advanced armory, which is uh, 30. They got to get a proto lab, which is 40. And then they got to research jets, which is 25. So that's a lot of res right now that they're away, and time uh, that they're yep. away from that. So Instead of spent a whole lot, I think, on heavenly support and cat packs. And it did pull out for some time, but right now they really need the other kind of technology. At least they need the map map prints so they can deal with that on us even without basics. Oh my oh, god! Oh no! Arling takes a shotgun blast to the back from Ray! Oh no! Oh no! They might get Joshi! Joshi! What's going on? With what is going on? No! <laughs> oh! Flash Onos! Oh no! Oh Titus! Oh god. Oh Titus! Wow. Just wow. And look, Ray is still there in a the hive, like spawn camping. Oh my god, he got like four or five of them. Ray, <laughs> a beast. Ray. Oh wow, Titus just got nailed. They lose their fade, they lose their onus, they lost their two lurks. They got nothing left. I mean, let's look at P res 44 for Golden, 37 from Sicknick. Who cares? Whatever. Oh, Bitey, 25. Okay, that's it. And, you know, we hear eggs, you know, having to spend on eggs being spawned. They're down to one harvester. Here comes the kill, I think. Yeah, possibly. Four shotgunners coming in. You just Skulk to defend. And uh, this might be the killing blow. One Skulk made it outside, but still we have those Marines inside here. All around the hive. And uh, not enough to drop another hive. They're going to try to go down to shipping, see what they can do. There are no eggs. They are egg locked and Titus has already left. And good game called. What an explosive match from the snails. Wow. wow. Snails wins the first match.